day games on Thursday. We got you covered there, and it is Paul Skeen's day as well. We have a play on the Pirates rookie phenom that you will not want to miss. You also never want to miss what Mark Zinno has to say. Always intelligent, always fiery, always charming, always... Uh, charming. Yeah, charming oh, may be what's aggressive. the term I'm looking for? Wow, wow, okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Joe Ooh. Ranier, the thumbs down, uh, knows hey, no boundaries hey, there. A-hole hey, would be the term you're looking for, according to the people in the comments section. So, yeah, I'm, there you go. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, Zeno, I've always spoken well of you. And I'll tell you what, the, yes. the, the fans of wagertalk.com need to speak well of you because uh, you are on quite the Major League Baseball run this week. You, are, you, you have had the edge in the uh, double play. This week, you're going to start us off. You were right again yesterday with your half of the double play. It was uh, Ray's first mm. five uh, that, that they stormed mm. back right at the end to, to cash that bet. Uh, you're looking at an early game. Duh, Yankees, your boys are taking on the Guardians, the team from my neck of the woods. How are we playing this game on getaway day? Yeah, this is a, a Zeno BP special. My Yankees, your Guardians. I mean, we probably should be at odds over here. Um, the Yankees actually, you know, showed up like they knew how to play baseball last night. So that was impressive. Of course, when Aaron mm. Judge hits two home runs, I don't think the Yankees ever lose, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so let's look at this matchup here because after 14 runs, wave scored to the those first, little league kids. Wave, I mean, we're just the most asinine thing ever. Listen, you know, as a New Yorker, okay, I can tell you that the little league coach from Staten Island is a deuce nozzle, okay, and his, his attempt to take a shot at Aaron Judge was both feeble and stupid. And so I hope it goes back to Staten Island and sits in the cesspool of the Arthur Kill and stinks like the rest of it. But now back to the game. Uh, so the Yankees and Guardians. Right, there you go. Play the, play the final game of their series. Here. We got a pretty good starting pitching matchup um, with Garrett Cole and Gavin Williams. You know, last night I played the under thinking that it was going to work. Um, and, and the, the, or I'm sorry, game one of the series when we, we, I played the under. And th thinking that, you know, the, the pitching matchup would win out. But I, I like it here even better on getaway day. Um, Cole feels like he's due for a little bit of positive regression here as far as putting together a, a good start. And he's really starting to come on, you know, since coming off the IL. Clearly his numbers outside of the game against the Mets at the stadium have been fantastic. He's done very well at home. So uh, I think he's in good shape to keep in keep the, the Guardians bats at bay. And even though it's not a lefty facing the Yankees here in Gavin Williams, I'm still confident that the Yankees aren't going to score that much uh, because they don't score a lot in back-to-back -back games. So uh, I, I play against the Yankees offense here, which has struggled as of late. It's a day game after a night game. No BP this morning, no practice, nothing. They'll get up, roll out of bed, run right to the stadium uh, for a 105 start. And I think we get a very few runs scored in the beginning part of this game here. But Cole is on the mound is enough for me to think we get under the first five here against a pretty uh, inconsistent Yankees offense. All right, smash that like button if you agree with Zeno that we're going to have a pitcher's duel, at least early on in Guardians-Yankees. I'm going to take a look at a game where I think we're going to have runs early. By the way, you said no BP this morning. I assume you mean batting oh, practice. Yes. I'm always here every morning on Wager Talk TV. I am here this morning. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, last night, I got to talk about this game last night, Milwaukee and St. Louis last night, because I had Milwaukee. You had Milwaukee in the first five. I had loser. Milwaukee in the full game. That was My a clients. loser. And yes, uh, there's nothing like writing in the analysis. Oh, Devin Williams, since the Brewers bullpen's been back, this bull it, it, it's it's been incredible. Guess what? He walks back to back guys so to allow the game to be tied, and then Milwaukee loses an extra innings. I was irate. I fired off about 35 texts to you around 10.30 yep. p.m. Eastern yep. last night. I apologize for that. Uh, yes, uh, you, you were kind. You were talking me off the ledge. But this is what we're going to do. I'm not going to worry about Frankie Montas, who starts today for the Brewers because he stinks. And I'm not going to worry about the Brewers' bullpen. I'm taking the Brewers over their team total. You can find this at three and a half still at FanDuel as of this morning. I would still play it all the way up to over four and a half which is where it's going to close. The reason I like Milwaukee over the team total today, Mark, is why they're facing Miles Mikulas, who stinks. He's terrible. He's given up five runs each of his last two starts, 9.22 ERA and 1.83 whip his last three, 6.53 ERA for the season here at Bush Stadium. Again, we focus on the team total. Let's not worry about those St. Louis bats which caught fire late in the game. A walk-off grand slam was just like the chef's kiss uh, to really just make me sick. 
Um, again, don't want to worry about Peralta. But Mikolas, he's got a 6.75 ERA. His first two starts against the Brewers this year gave up eight runs and 10 and two thirds. I don't think Milwaukee's going to have a problem putting up runs in this game. So Brewers over team to- their team total is my half of the double play to go along with Mark's first five under on Guardians and Yankees. Comment down below with your favorite Major League Baseball bets for Thursday. Oh, by the way, Mark, we'll tease this now. Uh, we're going to start talking a little college football on the program tomorrow. Anyway. Can't wait to do that. It is week zero. Of course, our show best bet is coming up in just a minute. It is uh, on Reds Pirates. We got a little bit of a prop for you on Paul Skeens. But guess what, Mark? I don't know if you woke up today. You, you felt something a little special in the air. It is the 10th anniversary of wagertalk.com today. And we have a special offer going on all the way through Sunday. Coupon code 10YEAR. That's 10YEAR. That will save you. You use that at checkout. You can use it as many times as you like. It'll save you 30% on an all-access pass. Uh, Does not matter the length. Great deal that you see right there on your screen. Mark, tell the people how hot you've been here in the month of August because uh, you, sir, are in fuego. Yeah. Um, do you mean like physically attractive hot or like in sports betting? Well, I'll I'll leave that I'll leave that up to the viewers. The first one I oh. was I was hoping for your your baseball record, to be honest with you. There, you there go. we go. She, she, she she, she's got she's uh, giving you the eye. I know. <laughs> Outside of being mildly attractive as a human, uh the twenty four and eleven record in the month of August in Major League Baseball, still number one at Wager Talk in winning percentage Whoa. unit in ROI. What is ROI again? Because people in the comment sections don't think I know, but I do know. So there is that. Turn on and uh, we'll Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we will have two plays up tonight on the site as well. They'll be up here shortly after the show is over again, guys. It's just been a really, really good run. Unfortunately, our, our 5% didn't cash the other night on the Minnesota Twins. Uh, there were several of us, actually, who, and full disclosure, we did not coordinate on it. There were a few of us on the Minnesota Twins uh, for a 5% right. play, and it did not cash. So, we all saw the same thing, just didn't work out that way. Why? Because the Twins bullpen and Rocco Baldelli suck. They suck. Anyway, uh, so two plays up on the site tonight. We'll keep it rolling here. Right as we run into football season, beautiful time to be hot and get hot and stay hot. So WT.buzz slash MZ for me. All right. Don't forget about my 5% college football win total. Still available at my page, WT.buzz slash BP. 70%. With all 5% college football plays going back to December of 2022. There we go. That's what we hope to be. That's what we hope to be doing after it cashes there, Zitto. That's what we hope to be doing. Uh, Anyway, I'm glad they blurred out my actual background there. Anyway, Paul Skeens is pitching in the mouth. No, there was not. But please, this is a family program, okay? (laughs) I I, I mentioned the It is, yes. Okay, anyway, Paul Skeens. My kids asked me the other day about covering the spread. I was so so proud. I'm shed a tear. My God, Dad, that's what very, it's very I'm emotional. Of my God, I'm raising such good yes. men. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Listen, a couple perhaps- of golden rules. A couple of golden rules, real quick. Eat your vegetables. Do your homework. Cover the number. And two out base hits win World Series. Those are what the kids know. Outstanding parenting. You, sir, are the father of the year. Wasn't that a movie, Father of the Year? Or was that Father of the Bride? It was oh, Father bride. of something. Anyway. Okay. Anyway. Paul Skeens, not a father, that at least that we know of. Uh, he does have a mustache, and he, I think he's getting fatigued, Mark Zinno. I think the man is—he's a great pitcher. Uh, you, oh, you don't? Uh, no, I, I mean you, you don't think he's getting fatigued here. Now, listen, let me just cut in front of you here and kind of give the audience a little peel back of the curtain. Um, you know, you have a different opinion of Paul Skeens at this point than I do. I still would not be in a position to bet against him. However. When you said he was fatigued, it piqued my interest because I kind of thought you were full of spit. Um, but no, take a, look, take a look here. If you start to take a look here, um, obviously he's thrown more innings than he ever has before, right? At this point in time, he's at 98 innings pitched mm-hmm. since the beginning of May. And strangely enough, for a guy who's had a, a impeccable control and great strikeout numbers, what has happened over his last four starts is that the strikeouts have, strikeouts have gone down, and the walks have gone up, also elevating his pitch count, which starts to become a problem. So maybe you are correct that he is fatigued. Oh. If we get the prop wrong, 
I will yell at you and blame you and say you forced me into doing this for the show and that I never wanted to do it from the beginning. That said, <laughs> the last four starts for Paul, he has walked three, three, one, and four batters, um, a- including um, walking, you know, the Seattle Mariners who strike out a ton um, four times in his last start. So this is a spot here where we're going to look to his walk prop and say, let's go over one and a half walks for Paul Skeens here. Try to ride this little streak that he's in. We'll see if Brian Power is correct. I think we get a very favorable price here, BP, which you'll tell the folks about in a minute. But, you know, for, for Paul Skeens at this point, maybe he is starting to fatigue, maybe is getting a little bit tired. But as long as the Pirates are in a playoff race, theoretically, he should still be pitching. I think we can get two walks here. Cincinnati, by the way, 14th in walk rate in Major League Baseball this year. So not mm. terrible. It's like we're looking at a bad team like Miami or Houston or uh, the Padres who are in the bottom five. 14th in walk rate on the season. Good enough for me. Let's go Paul Skeens over one and a half walks. Walk up to the betting window and bet Paul Skeens over one and a half walks. That is minus 115. Yes, sir. It is a good price. And don't let Mark Zinno fool you. When I told him about the walk rate, he jumped all over this prop. So this is a combined and joint effort from the Morning Wager crew. Smash that like button if you want to roll with us on Skeens. If you have not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, quite frankly, I don't know what I have to do if you uh, have already not done that. It's very simple. If you you don't do it, I'll find out your address, show up at your house, and beat the crap out of you until you do it. Well, I, I don't know what else to say. Don't forget about that. It's Wager Talk's 10-year anniversary. Wish us a happy anniversary. Save 30%. Coupon code 10-year. 1-0-Y-E-A-R. Until tomorrow, guys. Until tomorrow. Let's catch some tickets.